Five treasures in the tomb of ancient Egyptian King Tutankhamun, full of gold. As the ruler of the country, it's no wonder that kings live in luxury. However, unlike other kings who only experienced luxury while living, the kings in ancient Egypt took most of their wealth with them when they died, in the belief of the ancient Egyptians, people who died would live again in the afterlife. In order to ensure that the next life is fulfilled, they bring everything they have, reported by National Geographic, the same thing happened when Tutankhamun, the ruler of ancient Egypt died in 1323 BC. Tutankhamun was buried in the Valley of the Kings west of Thebes, Egypt. A thousand years forgotten, researchers managed to find his tomb buried in rocks in 1922, the good news is that unlike many other tombs that have been looted over the millennia, Tutankhamun's tomb is relatively safe. Not only his body, but the tomb still holds many treasures. 1. Two Daggers Tutankhamun was buried with two daggers. One made of iron was placed on his thigh, while the other made of gold was placed around the abdomen. At first glance, there's nothing special about these daggers. However, when Tutankhamun was alive, forging iron into weapons was not yet practiced. They hadn't even discovered iron ore at that time. So, where did the king get the iron dagger? At that time, all iron weapons came from meteor rocks that fell to the earth's surface. The iron content of the remaining meteors was turned into daggers with gold handles and crystal decorations. The other dagger was made of gold with the same luxurious handle as the first dagger. 2. Game Board Playing board games or senate was one of the hobbies of the ancient Egyptians, including Tutankhamun. Not only during life, they also believed that senate was a popular game in the afterlife. When Tutankhamun died, his family placed a senate board in his tomb, not just one, but four boards at once. Researchers aren't sure how the game was played, but the boards looked similar to a chessboard with pieces made of ivory and gold. 3. Gold Sandals Apart from putting board games, Tutankhamun's family also kept 100 pairs of sandals near the king's mummy. Not ordinary sandals, but gold-plated wooden sandals. The surface of these sandals also features images of the enemies of ancient Egypt, when found, the sandals were still in good condition. The researchers concluded that these were not the sandals Tutankhamun wore every day, but rather sandals specially ordered by his family for his death. 4. Different Types of Clothing As mentioned earlier, the ancient Egyptians believed in life after death. As the closest person to the king, his family certainly didn't want Tutankhamun to live a miserable life in the afterlife, apart from putting sandals, Tutankhamun's tomb is also equipped with various types of clothing. Starting from 12 luxurious robes, 28 pairs of gloves, head coverings, 4 pairs of socks, to 145 underwear made from the best quality linen. 5. Gold Mask Pharaohs were always depicted wearing snake-shaped headdresses and long beards. This appearance is said to resemble Osiris, the god of death in ancient Egyptian belief, in the real world, not all pharaohs have the right appearance. To make his appearance perfect when he died, the family would cover the late king's face with a golden mask, the same gold mask was also found in Tutankhamun's tomb. Weighing 10 kilograms and 53 centimeters long, the mask was decorated with semi-precious stones and was kept in a golden chest where Tutankhamun's mummy was buried. In addition to the mask, the researchers also found a number of jewelry, such as necklaces, bracelets and amulets.